Hey everyone, Crafting with Sam. Today is September 4th and it's Wednesday. How's everyone doing? Um, I'm working on this cute little Eeyore for our stars event. Um, so I'm going to do this little whipping chat. I hope everyone is doing good so far. Um, I am doing a little something but something different uh for this video though i found some information about eeyore himself this cute little lovable little, little donkey so let's get started on that well we dab and paint And this little guy is 15 colors. I know, that was a shocker. 15 colors. Wow. Okay. Your is appears by the Winnie the Pooh cartoons produced by Walt Disney Company. He is somewhat less sarcastic, sarcastic sorry, in the Disney's version than in the My Lines. M I L I N E S original stories. Through often supporting a character in the Winnie the Pooh a day for a year focus is on him. He is physically one of the stronger animals and often as a pack animal whenever a plot calls for one. His house is for a Regularly knocked down, but he always rebuilds it. He usually expects misfortune to happen to him, except when it does, except when it does, and rarely even when he tries to prevent it, it just happens that way. And then his catchphrases are thanks for no knows me and okay <laughs> uh his outlook was also known was also shown in an encounter with piglet who cheerfully bade him good morning eeyore responded well i suppose it is for some <laughs> Despite his depressive nature, Eeyore is capable of, 
is capable of great compassion, where in the books he is more ap apathetic, a p a t h e t i c. Several episodes of the Avenger, the new Avengers of Winnie the Pooh, including Donkey for a Day, Stripes, and Home is Where the Home is. And Eeyore is one of the core groups of animals, along with Piglet, Pooh, Rabbit, and Tigger. Of these five, of these, yeah, sorry, of these five, he is the most reculent to. Go along with their plans or adventures, but does not oppose on them because he believes it to be. Well, a lot of weird words in here. Sorry. Able to try. In the adaptions, Eeyore's was developed a close friendship with Tigger. Despite their opposite personalities, Eeyore's passionate nature and Tigger's optimisms and outgo go outgoingness help them to accept each other's flaws and understand each other better. Um, his... Uh, oh... Sorry. Their closeness begins at the end of the Winnie the Pooh, a day of for Eeyore, and which it continues later on with the other films. And then uh, they mentioned that his tail was not always fixed by a nail, although Disney has chosen that part of his permanent image when Eeyore lost his tail. It was Owl who found it and used a bell pole besides his besides his door. Who found it for Eeyore? Then Christopher Christopher Robin then pinned it back on, according to Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Eeyore is full of sawdust in the Disney merchandise. Eeyore sometimes has an uncharacteristic smile in animation. Eeyore's color is natural gray through blue, pink, with a pink muzzle merchandising. So, yeah. And then it just talks about the horror film Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and I didn't watch that because I was not interested in it at all. But that's the best description I can find of your. So, I hope you like that little bit of information. Also, like... I found out, too, that they're based, like, off of mental health. Um, you know, like, Eeyore is obviously depression. Tigger is anxiety because he's always bouncing around and stuff like that. And... Pure would be full of happiness. I mean, pure. Wow, I'm like way off. I'm in one of the poo. <laughs> like Pooh Bear. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh -huh. I 
And then Piglet is, of course, like embarrassment and shy and stuff like that. I didn't know that. So that was really cool, too. And did you know that there is a place in Canada where it's not far from me. Um, they have, like, the Winnie the Pooh statue because that's, like, what, where was it called? Let me look that up really fast. Because mom and I were going to plan on going there, but really there's nothing there. It's just a really small town. It's in White River, Ontario. And they have a Winnie the Pooh, like, natural park. Let's look on that. Let's see if there's a history on it. Okay, the township is perhaps known for being the home of Winnie the Pooh. In August 1914, a trapped black bear cub was sold to Captain Harry Colyborn in Wright River, and Colyborn named it Winnipeg or Winnie after his hometown ta Winnie. I mean, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Over the years, uh, the, the animal became the basis for the popular literary character. The town celebrates Winnie's hometown festival every third week in August. Being surrounded by the wilderness, White River has a lot outgoing, a lot of outdoor recreation. Opportunities, summer activities such as hiking, biking, fishing, hunting, boating, canoeing, and in the winter, uh, they offer like um, a bunch of cross country and snowball, snowball, um, snowmobiling. <laughs> Sorry, uh, they have a museum of Winnie the Pooh. Which is at the Heritage Museum, the Heritage Museum there, and it also includes the Pacific, the Canadian Pacific Railway, Railway. Sorry, um, they have a couple of lakes. So yeah, um, like I said, Mom and I were talking about going there one one year. For just, you know, her and I to do. But uh, we just never did that. But maybe next year, you know. Um, that will be really cool to see, I think. To see the history of it, you know. And I was shocked that it was Canadian history. On top of that, you know. I think Star mentioned a little bit about that as well when she was doing her live.
I have a feeling this one's going to take me a little bit to do. There's a lot of colors in this one. That's how I felt about the turtle, really. <laughs> when I was working on the turtle. Last night, I finished watching the second Star Wars movie. I mean, not the second one, I should say. Let me rephrase that. It was actually um, the fifth one in the series, which is um, The Empire Strikes Back. I watch them in that order. I know a lot of people watch them in numerical order. Um, and I know some people wa also watch it the way I watch it. Just... Depends on everyone's way of seeing the movies that they want to watch them in. I even do it with Lord of the Rings, too, you know? I watch Lord of the Rings first and then The Hobbit because that's what came in order, even though The Hobbit is before Lord of the Rings, you know? I just can't help it. I like watching movies like that. Do to do. Now I'm just got one in the roses. Alright, I'm just putting something away.
I'm just testing the stickiness of it, and it's not very sticky in some of this area, but that is how much I got done on it for right now. I may end up switching to another canvas I have, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But I hope you do like this video, so thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll try my best to work on it a little bit more, but if it doesn't work out, then I'll sw switch it to something else, so... Yeah, on that note, I think that's about it. So, see you guys real soon. Bye. Keep on diamond painting.